Hi guys, we are continuing discussion of the example questions, paper A, in, and it is uh, question number 23. Reliable yearly signs of cyanide toxicity due to sodium nitroproside infusion include, and you see the following options. Let's analyze every of it. So, progressive metabolic acidosis. It is characterized by metabolic acidosis by a low consuming of oxygen. Hemoglobin contain oxygen but it is not delivered properly to the tissue so metabolic acidosis occur abnormal encephalo uh, electroencephalographic changes is a wrong answer increased mixed venous oxygen tension it's about what i told hemoglobin uh, does have uh, oxygen enough it is fully saturated but do not uh, deliver it to the tissue and it it is even increased at the venous level no consuming remained uh, still attached to the hemoglobin constant response to low dose infusion of sodium nitroproside for uh, cyanide toxicity it ne necessitate uh, prolonged infusion by normal or high doses of nitroproside sodium nitroproside and a decrease in hemoglobin saturation it is wrong as there is increase of hemoglobin saturation even in a uh, venous uh, blood many effects you have to know acute hydrogen cyanide poisoning can result from inhalation of fumes from burning polymer products that uh, use uh, nitriles in their production such as polyurethane or vinyl it can also be caused by breakdown of nitroproside into nitric oxide and cyanide sodium nitroproside is a drug used for decreasing lower uh, decreasing blood pressure or lowering blood pressure it forming methemoglobinemia cyanide toxicity and acute pulmonary edema and even lactic acidosis or metabolic acidosis with increased uh, lactic acid and by monitor it reveal reveals a falsely reassuring uh, saturation of of blood with oxygen as no oxygen is being consumed by the cells hemoglobin remains fully saturated even in in uh, the venous uh, blood and here are many links you can access i will attach it below you can access by self and read thank you very much and have a great time